I'm gonna go in and work for a little bit and then I'm on my way up to come and get you. Yeah, I know it's Sunday, but I still have to work. Don't worry, I'll be there. Oh, no, please. I didn't even bother to ask him to come. I gave up on that a long time ago. Oh, yeah, besides, look, gives us some time to spend together. I haven't seen you in a few weeks before I bring you home. Yeah, well, um, look, I gotta go. So, um, I'll see you in a few hours. Okay. Where you drive? I want to keep my eyes open. Thank you very much. I want to see Jesus when I meet him. Dad. Oh. oh, I'm sorry. I, I just wanted to tell you we were home. Home? When you were driving, I thought we was going to be on the moon. Ha ha. <laughs> now come on in. I want you to meet the prince. <laughs> To worship, not to point to kill and board our babies. Society tell us different, like you can't raise them. I know that's why the pit of God and grace is amazing. Where will you spend eternity after your days? And will it be abundant life for eternal damnation? Cause you can serve two masters. That boy got all this mess on. Must well just open up the window and throw my money away. He's asleep, supposedly. It's late. Mm -hmm. Well, you will have the pleasure in the morning if I can drag him out of the bed. <laughs> but this is your room. <laughs> I told you I was getting it all ready for you. I made Nehemiah get all his crap out of there. I'm easy. A hot in the cot is good enough for me. Well, it is a queen size cot. I just want to make sure that you're comfortable. I'll take it. All right. There's clean sheets and... Sounds good. Okay, well, the refrigerator is a little empty, but I am so sure you'll... I've been in a box almost 30 years, so I'm easy. All right, Dad, well... I'm gonna crawl into bed, but uh, if you need anything, and I mean anything, just knock, okay? My room is right there, bathroom's there, and the kitchen's downstairs. I'll figure it all out. Oh, and if you get hungry... Go get some sleep. Okay. Okay. Good night, Dad. And Dad, I am so glad you're home. Like a baby. Good. And you see how I can call him all day and he will not answer. Nehemiah, get down here now. I'm good with calling. Oh, good, Dad. Um, 
See, I never did learn to cook like Mama. It's so early. Um, good morning. Sit up, me. Sit up. Say hello to your grandfather and act like you got some manners. Morning, Grandpa. Whoa, look at here. Come over and give me a hug, little man. Where are you going with all that hair? She needs to cut it or something. Jesus. All that hair and won't keep it clean. It's my hair. And me, look, I'm gonna need you to take your grandfather to get some clothes and things. What? Boy, you heard me. I'm gonna need you to go to the mall. We gotta take the bus? Well, I guess you can take the car. But me, uh, 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 boy, get off of me before you make me spill this hot coffee. Now, what are the rules when, when you're, you're driving, driving the my car? car? I know how to drive. You teach that boy to drive, Betty? Yes, plus I took driver's ed. Tell her I can drive, please, right? Not if you drive like her. <laughs> hey! And look, Nate. Mom, I'm, I'm going to college in a few weeks, and you said I could take my car. So it's best that I get in all the practice now, so I'm even better when I go to Cornell. No loud music. Done. No cell phones. Oh my gosh. Excuse me? Yes, mother. Oh, Dad, don't laugh. You know, these kids are so reckless these days. I mean, with the cell phones and hanging out the car like they ain't got no sense. Not me. You know I take your rules seriously. Plus, it's my car. Kinda. Right? All right, well, no fooling around in the car, okay? All right, well, look. There you go, Dad. I gotta go. Dad, Nee has all my numbers. If you need anything, don't have to take the call. Oh, don't worry about your dad, baby. I can take care of myself. Besides, I got this little one here to keep me company. <laughs> well, good luck with that. Because as soon as I walk out the door, he's going to be up in that room of here. Oh, here we go. What? Nothing. Nee, I can't believe you driving. You look like you're about 14 years old. Ooh, Dad, he doesn't like when people say that. I'm going back to bed. I'll be ready to go at 11. Bye. Well, bye to you too, son. And don't forget to turn off my lights. Call me if you need me. All right, then. Sorry, were you waiting long? How can you listen to all that music? I hope you have better taste than your mama. I can't believe this thing has so much music on it. I tried to get my mom some music, but she didn't want any. I have another one that has 1,300 songs on it. This is just the one for the car. I thought I was doing good to get four radio stations.
going on, Grandpa? Grandpa, are you coming? I think I want to go back. What? I don't want to go in there. What are you talking about? Nehemiah, let's just go. Grandpa, we came all the way out here to bring you to the store. They have everything you need inside. Shoes, socks, shirts. I know, but I just... Just what? You need stuff, right? It's so big. I've never been in a store that big. It's not one big store. It's a bunch of stores. Once you go inside, you'll see. They're regular size. Grandpa. Grandpa, my mom told me to bring you here to get you some clothes. Not from here. This is ridiculous. So you really aren't coming inside? Let's just go someplace else. The store looks, I don't know, too... Okay, fine. Where you want to go? <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Nehemiah. Nehemiah. What do you think about this one? It's like the jacket you have on now. Oh well, I'm used to wearing a uniform. So get some real clothes. I don't like change. Whatever. I don't want your mother spending all that money on clothes at the mall. She don't care. Look, you don't have to buy expensive clothes, but you don't have to buy old clothes either. <laughs> Nehemiah, come read this for Grandpa. I can't see these small tags. Is this a large? That's a double XL. Well, I let myself go, but not that much. Can you find me a large? Nehemiah, Nehemiah, look. I found some pants, too. Um, okay. Nice, huh? Nine bucks. Nice. You should go pay your credit card, right? Yep, I think so. What do you think? Think they look okay? They should be fine. I wasn't too sure about the size, They should be but... fine. Just go pay. Want some? Guess not. Hey, baby girl. <laughs> hey, Dad. Uh, how are you? Oh. Who is it? Where's Nehemiah? I think he's in his room. Yeah, surprise, surprise. Nehemiah! Nee? Come down here. Nee! Nehemiah! Yes? Did you fix your grandpa some food? I had a sandwich before we went out to school. A 
sandwich? I texted you to fix your grandpa some food. He was asleep. Did you ask him if he was hungry? No. I bet you ate, but you didn't think to ask your grandpa if he wants something. So I'm supposed to wake somebody up and say, oh, you hungry? You want to eat? Who is somebody? Forget it. You better watch your mouth. Now I have some takeout. I'm not hungry. Get to the table so that we can all eat. The table? Yeah, right. I'm good with just a little something. <laughs> no, 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 no. I want us to all sit down so that we can actually have a nice meal. It's what, 9.37 and now you want to eat dinner? You know what, Nehemiah? I have had a long day and I cannot take your mouth. Now get yourself in that kitchen and get some plates. Now! Get, uh, shh, boy, you... Any luck at the mall? We got to the mall. We got some cool stuff. Good. Great. Well, did you tell your grandpa about Cornell? That's good. He's smart. Like his mom. <laughs> you know, he was early admission, and he almost made valedictorian. <laughs> Not even. I was like 10th in my class. When your mama visited me, she told me how smart you were and how good you were doing at school. I just hope they can do something about his attitude. Nee. Oh, I was such a handful. When his father died, he just locks himself up in the room. You know, I've tried, but you see, he just stayed himself, so I just let him be. He's going to be all right. I hope so. He's just trying to figure life out. You full? You want some more chicken? No, I'm good. I think I'm gonna go lay down. You think Nick's gonna be all right? He's a good kid. It's just gonna take a while before you and he start agreeing and seeing the world the same. Can you take him to the store? I need to get a razor. Grandpa! Nehemiah, I was trying to get my razor. I told you to wait. You don't know your way around here yet. I thought I did. I swore. I saw a little store when we were riding to the mall. Yeah, but it's not that close. You can't walk anywhere in this neighborhood. I didn't want to trouble you too much. It's the boonies. Come on back. Let me sit down for a while. I've been walking quite a bit. Look, I know I was taking a long time, but I told you I was gonna. I'm 
I'm sorry. No, that's all right. It was quite a nice walk. There's only so much walking you can do in them prison cells. This neighborhood is okay. I, I just think it's that- It's so pretty. I wish I'd grown up in a place like this. Look at these houses. I mean, it's cool. I, it's I kind of quiet though. Betty did good to raise you up here. It's not that nice. I wish I had a spot like that to raise Betty up here. We shouldn't be here. They don't want us here. Shouldn't be here? Yeah. You should and could be wherever you want. It's just different. Different? Different from what? From going up with people shooting dope outside your door while you're trying to get to work and Look, I your see family? where mom grew up. I'm not saying I want to live there, but... But when my dad and grandma were alive, they used to talk about the old days and at least it seemed like fun. Ain't no fun around here Will you... Whatever, let's just go back to the car. I'll take you to the store. It was fun. We had some good days. But you don't want to live that life. Your mom was right to bring you here with these trees and good schools. Your dad would be real proud to see you now. Well, that's not going to happen. He's not going to get to see me, and I'm just going to have to deal with it like my mom said. Whatever, let's just go. I'm pretty sure the police will be coming by soon. You must really miss your dad. Of course. I mean, who wouldn't miss their dad if they knew they weren't ever going to see him again? It must have been that way for Betty growing up. Me being gone. But it was different. At least she had grandma. She could have called you or, or wrote or whatever. I can't do that. I'm sorry, son. I didn't mean to make you feel like it was the same thing. You got to let that go. This will make you hard. That's not you. Your mom. We should go. Nehemiah. I don't mean to get into this stuff with your mom. What is there to get into? She does her thing and I do mine. She just counting down the days until I leave so she doesn't have to look at me. I don't know everything that goes down here. I'm just trying to get to know Betty. I hadn't seen her for years. We didn't talk until your grandma died. But just like I don't know what's going on with her, neither do you. I wasn't around. Her husband died. She's trying to do the best she can. Well, me. maybe that's not good enough. If I bring home B's or, or God forbid C's, she flips out on me. She says I want A's and nothing less. Why does she get a free pass and I don't? I can't explain everything away, Nee, but I know she loves you. And, and just like you trying to be you, she's trying to be her. I guess. Look at all the nice things you got. I don't want nice things. You don't? Look, I like all my stuff. I, I like the games and, and the car. But all the time, it's just me. I'm tired of having nice stuff and nobody even there to see it. What am I, a chopped liver? I ain't saying I could take the place of your dad. Nobody could be him but him. But we could do stuff. Like maybe I could take you to get a haircut every couple of years or so. I don't need a haircut. Oh. But maybe you do. Let's go get you that razor. You start to look like a black bear or a wildebeest. Either way, they'll shoot you down. Smooth as a baby's bottom. About time. I don't look a day over 22. <laughs> what mirror are you looking at? Oh, just because you ain't got no peach fuzz to cut. Oh, what's this? Oh, no, that's nothing to do. No, but wait. I do believe I see a little hair peeking through. Don't hate, Grandpa. I'm about to be a shaving fool up at Cornell. I'm going to come home a grizzled man. Oh, you're going to take facial hair up there? You know what? My stash is going to look tight. Hmm. 
I can't wait to see that. You gonna be here when I come home for Christmas break? Where else am I gonna go? I don't know, I'm just asking. Then you can see my bushy beard. Oh, you gonna come back a man, huh? I'm already a man. I wanted to go to college. I took a few classes in jail. Really? When I was younger, I was interested in chemistry. I always liked science. You were young? I ain't no old man. I can still take you. I knock you so hard it'll wake up your ancestors. You are the ancestors. Boy, I was in a prison almost 30 years. You think we didn't learn how to tell jokes? Shoot, that's all we had on the yard. Man, why don't you go give Moses his shoes back? I will as soon as you give his mama her purse. <laughs> that's all you got? You about as corny as Nick Cannon. Nick who? Uh, forget it. He has a show where they snap back and forth at each other. Mm. It's kind of stupid, but it's kind of fun. We did that when I was a kid. Was that when you walked five miles to the grocery store? Boy, you should go on the same show with that corny guy. You sound like you got him beat in the corny department. I sure hope they teach you to be funny at that school. Whatever, you're corny, Grandpa. Boy, <laughs> you're so corny. Help your mama with the groceries. I got it. <laughs> wow, Dad. I wish sure could have used you a few years ago. Mm, I should have been here more than a few years ago. Maybe he wouldn't have all that hair. Mm, well, that's the least of it with Mr. Nehemiah. He's a good boy. He's got a good head on his shoulders. Reminds me a bit of your Uncle Billy. Really? Well, that's a blast from the past. Billy was a good kid, too, till he got messed up with those drugs. Hell, I was a good kid till I got messed up with heroin. But maybe if he didn't start, then you didn't start it. I can blame Billy for a lot of things. We went to jail the same year, same charge. He got five years, I got 29. Put that to him. But ain't nobody put that needle in my arm but me. Can we eat? What'd you say, little man? Can we eat now? Well, did you cook? No, but I know you got some food in one of those bags, and you know how to use a microwave. And so do you. All right. Grandpa, let me show you how the master chef can make microwave magic. I know y'all didn't have that back in your day. No, we didn't even have five. Passes by so fast, can't find my way When you stare at me with angels' eyes and I bring Down into these walls I fear the most But I'm here again, just trapped inside myself Come find me and shelter me Lead me on this momentary dream where I feel alive Come with me and I'll shelter you from these storms 